list on my Christmas. <laughs> Can I get you all in here? It's Melissa and I'm back with another video. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I didn't upload a video yesterday. I got back um, home from the library after an eight or nine hour day at school and it was pitch black. So I thought that I would wait until today when I could film in the daylight and it would be a little bit better quality for you guys. Um, this next week's upload schedule is going to be a little bit different. Instead of uploading on Monday and Friday this week, I'm uploading today, which is Saturday, and I'm going to upload another video on Wednesday. Um, I have three finals, two on Thursday and one on Friday of next week, and so I decided for my own sanity that instead of trying to film, edit, and post a video on Friday, that I would get it up on Wednesday for you guys, and then I would have um, a regular video posting the following Monday. Today's video I'm going to be filming for you is my fall fitness favorites or things that I've been loving in the last month or two. Um, some of them are a little bit newer and some of them are things that I've been using for a really long time um, and I hope you enjoy the video. So my first favorite of the month um, is was a recommendation from my friend Cassandra and every single month I always get a breakout somewhere on my chin and I never seem to get rid of it. At first I thought it was because of some of the things that were in my diet, so I tried eliminating things from my diet and I would still get hormonal acne on my chin every single month. Um, but Cassandra recommended taking evening primrose oil and so they just come in like a capsule form um, and I've been taking two of them a day first thing in the morning when I have my breakfast. So if you do suffer from hormonal acne or you have um, issues with maybe certain areas on your face that you notice you're having acne, you know, maybe during times of stress or even just a time of the month when you notice that you have a little bit more acne, try out something like this. There's a lot of really cool um, natural ways that you can solve those issues. And I've been having, again, two of them a day. I think the recommended dose is six a day, but I do not have the time or the money to take six pills in one day. I haven't had a breakout on my chin um, in three weeks, I would say, and that's a pretty good time, especially with finals and being stressed out and having lots going on. So, evening primrose oil tablets. I had wireless headphones on my Christmas wish list, but last weekend at my boyfriend's um, Christmas staff party, he actually won these in the raffle and then he gave them to me. I might have coerced him to give them to me or guilted him into giving them to me, but nonetheless, I love them. These are the iSport Bluetooth Wireless Super Slim High Performance Sports Audio Monster Headphones. Um, they are just wireless cordless headphones and you just slip them in behind your neck like this and then you put them into your ears and they're just really great for when I'm at the gym. I don't have to worry about where my phone is or I was always the person that was like, putting the cord like down my shirt when I was running on the treadmill. Thank you Marshall very much for giving them to me. They're my favorite and again Christmas came early. I was so excited to get these and I think they were valued at like $160 when I checked on the website so to win those that was a pretty sweet deal. Next. So I talked about these plantain chips um, in my grocery haul and I have been absolutely loving these. Again, when I feel like a little bit snacky or want, I want something crunchy and satisfying, I like to eat these plantain chips. They have a perfect crunch and these ones are the spicy Caribbean style and they taste exactly like barbecue chips to me. Once you get to the bottom of the bag, they are quite salty, so just be aware of that. Um, I like to portion these out in little baggies and then take them to school and when I'm studying or when I'm in class, I like to just snack on them. Um, they also have a plain style and I actually just finished that bag up yesterday and I ate the rest of them so I don't have them to show you. Um, these are at Walmart for two dollars so they're super cheap, they're inexpensive um, and all that is in them is plantains and spices and salt so you don't have to worry about any additives. They taste exactly like barbecue chips. I don't think I need to go on. Another one of my favorites um, from this month, and it has been something that I've been using in the gym since like September or beginning of October, are these um, Good Life Fitness mini lateral bands. So basically, it's just like one big elastic band, and you use these, um, or the way I've been using them is when I'm doing my leg workout at the gym. Um, you just put this like around your knees, or you can put it around your ankles, and you can do a bunch of different variations of exercises, and it just provides a little bit of resistance. So if you put these around your knees when you're doing like 
crab walk so then you put them around your knees and you squat down and then you walk side to side and it burns your leg um, but it's really good for resistance and just toning and building your legs and your booty. Um, another thing that I really like to do with these resistant bands is putting them around my ankles, holding onto a wall, and then like swinging my ankle and my leg out to the side and that really targets your inner thighs. The kit that I got was from Canadian Tire and I think I bought them for like $10 um, and it came with a medium, a light, and a heavy resistance. So obviously the light one is going to be a lot more elastic and then the medium one and then the heavy one is like very, very tight. These elastic bands would also be awesome if you're just working out at home um, because it provides a little bit of variation for your body weight exercises. Anyways, so these have been my favorite. In the winter, I always go through a bit of a tea phase, and I think it's when like the weather starts to get cold, and I just like having a warm cup of tea. Um, it helps you drink a lot more water throughout the day, so I think everybody could benefit from having a few extra glasses of water, but it just makes your water taste better because it's tea. So these have been my favorite teas in the last few weeks, um, and these are the Celestial Seasonings Holiday Teas. Um, I've been getting these in a few different places, and some places have more variety than others. I found the um, Candy Cane Lane one at Bulk Barn. I found the Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride one at Sobeys. And then my roommate found this Gingerbread Spice one. Um, if I had to rank these in order of my flavor preference or my favorites, I like Candy Cane Lane the best, and then Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride, and then Gingerbread Spice. Gingerbread Spice is just like a little bit too gingerbread-y, but I still like it, so boom. Another favorite of the month is my kombucha, and I've been making kombucha at home since September, I believe. Um, and so kombucha is basically fermented tea, um, and it has a lot of really good health benefits. Um, if you haven't heard of kombucha before, I really suggest you go and read some articles, do some research about it. Um, I'm going to be probably making a video with somebody special in the near future about kombucha um, if you wanted a little bit more information or how you can make it at home if you wanted to. Um, but I have been loving my kombucha. Um, it's really good for your digestion and if you have like even half a cup I find if I have like half a glass with some ice first thing in the morning it really just helps to get your digestion flowing and going throughout the day. Um, and I like the flavor of it, some people don't. You can find kombucha at your local grocery stores now um, and they have lots of like yummy flavors but some of the kombucha that they sell at stores has added sugars to it and so I would just prefer to drink my stuff that I have at home. I wanted to include some social media favorites for the month, um, different health or fitness accounts that I've been following that I've really been enjoying lately. Um, one of my absolute favorites that um, my roommate actually um, pointed me towards in the last few weeks was Pelly Gets Fit. And Dallas Pelly is from um, the Saskatoon area and he just started his weight loss journey and his journey to health. Um, so I really want you guys to go check him out, go support him, give him a word of encouragement. He has an Instagram account, he has a Twitter account, and he also films like little short YouTube blurbs, which I find are so real and so honest. And I'm just really proud of him. So Dallas, if you're watching, I just wanted to let you know that you are doing an amazing job by taking control of your health. And I will just show you all the support in the world um, in the next few months. I also wanted to include in this video a few intentions that I have for the upcoming month. Um, so a few things in my life that I really want to focus on and work on for the month of December. And the first thing that I really want to focus on is mindfulness. Because of finals and because of stress and anxiety, because of exams, because of life, um, I really want to focus every single day to taking time out um, to being mindful and being thoughtful and just reflecting on my day. So for the month of December, um, one of the goals that I've set for myself every single day is to get 15 to 20 minutes of physical activity and 15 to 20 minutes of mindful activity, um, if that's what you could call it. Another intention that I have for December, and I think that this is something that a lot of people focus on at this time of year, is finishing the year out strong. Um, I think because of the holiday season, I sometimes tend to get in like a mode of just making December a month of like being with family and eating all this delicious food and I really want to enjoy my time over the holidays with my family, with my friends, um, going back home and seeing everybody that I haven't been able to see in a while. 
but I also want to focus on not giving up on my goals and not giving up on the things that I've worked so hard for in 2016. So that's the video everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Normally I upload videos every Monday and Friday. This week it's going to be Saturday and Wednesday. Um, I also just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all the support. Um, it's been almost a month since I started this channel and I've gotten so many amazing words of encouragement and advice and it's crazy to think that I have 95 people or 95 eyes that are watching me or watching these videos. I really do appreciate it and it really encourages me to keep on making videos and um, yeah, this last month has been crazy. It's been an amazing month. Um, it's been a learning experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.